Hello, good evening. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Hi, Lea. How's everything? ¿Qué tal todo? Muy bien, gracias a Dios. Aquí recuperándome de las cuerdas bucales. Ah, I mean, that's, that's perfect. That is, that is nice. How was your vacation? Ah, uh, yes. Me ayudó nah, un man. poco la vacación. Ah, I mean, that's great. Qué genial, qué genial que nos pudieran descansar un poco. Bueno, al menos los que tuvieron vacaciones. ¿eh? Los demás, pues, ni modo. Había que trabajar, como dicen. <laughs> no, no, no. The good thing is that you're here. I mean, that's, that's nice. All right? That's nice. Uh, let me see. All right. I mean, very few people are getting connected. ¿Está lloviendo de verdad por las zonas donde ustedes viven? Porque hay muchos que me están diciendo que sí, que tienen muchos problemas con el internet and everything. Aparentemente, bastante fuerte. En San Salvador sí está lloviendo. Yo soy aquí de Cojutepeque y está lloviendo bastante fuerte. Y hay bajones de energía, por eso me he conectado con el teléfono. Porque ahorita no tengo internet. Uh, it's pretty similar here. Es más, más o menos como acá. Entonces, así ah, me he estado viendo bajones de energía, pero ahorita sí se ha estabilizado un poco. Nada más se está pringando un poco por esta zona, pero bueno. Ya vamos a ver entonces cómo, cómo terminamos con esto. Okay. ok, good people. So, we are going to start from, you know, like, like, like from we stayed last class, uh, the, league, the, the week before the last one. Uh, pues ya vamos a comenzar de bien entonces con los bienvenidos. Hi, Alexandra. Good evening. Uh, do you say something, Alexandra? Eh, bueno, me falta un poquito, pero ya que sí llego. Enciendo eh, cámara cuando yo estoy en mi casa. Ah, ok, perfecto. No problem. Ok, good. Bueno, entonces. Espero que hayan podido disfrutar bien sus vacaciones and everything. Because this week we have a lot of things to do, a lot of uh, topics to practice. And you know, like the rest three weeks that are missing from this uh, module, we're going to focus mostly on practicing the structures that we are going to be discussing. And let's start. I'm going to pass the attendance list first, and then we're going to continue, okay? Uh, let me see, Abel Edenilson. Okay, no here. No está acá todavía. Alexandra Michel. Okay. Good. Vania Raquel. No, right, just not here. Let's move. Cristian Mauricio. Cristian, ok, he's not here. Eduard Armando. Mm, Eduard Armando, ok, he is not here. Eric Enrique. Hola, teacher. Ah, ok, good man. Eric Fernando. All right, he's not there. Jose Mauricio. Present. Ok, perfect. Julissa Jamilet. Present. Ok, good. Carla Daniela. Present. Ok, good. Let's move. Kelly Joana. Present. Ok, very good. Let's continue. Lea Berenice. Present, teacher. Ok, excelente. Mm, Liliana Alejandra. Liliana, all right, she's not here. Ok, let's continue. Mario Eduardo. Present teacher. Ok, good. 
Marvin Edenilson. Welcome. Okay, good. Let's move Noé Vladimir. Hmm. Okay, he's not here. Uh, let's see, Rosa del Carmen. Rosa del Carmen, all right, she's not here. Ruth Guadalupe. Ah, okay. Good. Okay, perfect. Veronica Lisset. Present. Okay, good. Okay, let's continue. Wilber Ernesto. Wilber. Okay. No there. And the last one, Ana Patricia. Aquí creo que me acaba de mandar un mensaje. Okay, very good enough. Okay, no problem with that. So we're going to stay with these people because the rest probably is going to connect a little bit later today. Let me see who's here. Abel, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. también. Okay, people, so we're going to start with the things that we got for tonight. Uh, tenemos un tema bastante, bastante interesante que de poder practicar. Eh, es un tema que ya más o menos vimos una pequeña introducción hace un par de días. Lo vimos así de una manera un tanto uh, relacionada con otro tema que estuvimos discutiendo. All right. And today we're going to focus the mostly on that topic. We're going to practice a short conversation. We're going to do a series of exercises. We're going to practice mostly on questions and answers. And what's the topic that we're talking about? All right, I'm going to show it right now. This is the topic I am talking about. All right, let's remember today is August the 8th. And tonight's topic is going to be how to use frequency adverbs. Right, this is the topic that we are going to be discussing uh, during this class time. Right, how to use frequency adverbs. Okay, good. When it, when uh, do you listen this topic? What comes to your mind? If I'm talking about frequency adverbs, what do you think I am talking about? ¿Qué se les viene a la mente la cabeza cuando escuchan este tema? Adverbios de frecuencia. ¿Qué creen que son? ¿O cuáles son, más bien dicho? ¿Any opinion? Los que indican el tiempo, lugar. Ok, all right. En cierto modo, yeah. In a somehow, all right. Eh, right. Son como Vamos. las palabras que usamos para definir cue, qué tan frecuentemente hacemos algo. Como usualmente, no. nunca. Ah, ok. Very good. Thank you, Carla. All right. In a somehow, what Carla is saying is true. Listen. Basically, a frequency adverb is mostly used to define how frequent you do an activity. Básicamente un adverbio de frecuencia nos indica con qué, bueno, valga la redundancia, con qué frecuencia nosotros hacemos una actividad, ya sea si es siempre, si es generalmente, si es algunas veces o nunca, ¿ok? So that's uh, the main use of a frequency adverb. Entonces ahora vamos a ver los, los adverbios de frecuencia así más, ya un poco más detenidamente. Eh, la vez pasada los estábamos usando de cierto modo con las time expressions. No sé si se acuerdan un poco. Eh, los introducimos ahí un poco, pero ahora sí ya los vamos a ver específicamente uh, en esta clase. All right, so let's start a little bit with that. What is the most relevant for tonight's class? Uh, we're going to make a short review for the previous topics. There's something that we're going to be doing if we have time. Uh, we're going to have the introduction to the frequency adverbs. 
after that we're going to practice some questions using frequency adverbs and uh, then we're going to go into an activity in the manual and after that obviously we're going to finish some activities that we have extra in there in the manual okay so tonight we're going to use a lot the manual especially for the conversation and some pages that we need to, to cover you know to do uh with some activities there All right so this is the most relevant that we have for tonight's class so now let's start with that because i don't really matter uh uh i mean to to, to show you these structures and everything so let's start frequency adverbs do frequency adverbs have a structure when they are into a sentence? Yes. All right. They have an structure. But let's start a little bit the reading from these things. Ruth, can you help me out reading, please? <laughs> Read. Uh -huh. Tengo que re regresar. <laughs> Las vacaciones me hicieron mal, teacher. Lo siento. Ah, ah. And then, okay. apaga, mira el switch así, ¿verdad? Vacations on. <laughs> Tod todavía, todavía la cabeza la anda en, ¿cómo se llama esa cosa que está en San Salvador ahorita? Si Barlan o algo así se llama, creo. No me gusta. Yes. <laughs> ah. On the beach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, mejor en modo descanso. Ajá, ok, ok. Ok, okay. okay perdón. Ok. Eh, an adverb of frequency describes mm -hmm. how often an action happens. Happens, ajá. Uh -huh. Ok, And there you go. All right. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, now this is basically a short definition about frequency adverbs, as I was saying. An adverb of frequency or frequency adverb basically describes how often an action happens. Básicamente describe qué tan a menudo una, una acción, all right, se lleva a cabo. Básicamente esa es la función de un adverbio de frecuencia, all right? Tenemos estructura, eh, estructura para cómo poner un frequency adverb. Claro que sí. What is the structure? Look, this is the main structure that we generally use to create sentences using frequency adverbs. Look, the first thing, as always, that you have to write down, it has to be the subject. Remember, the subject can be any pronoun like I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they. Or a proper noun like like Mario, like Abel, for example. All right. After the subject, you have to put the frequency adverb. Okay. You have to put there the frequency adverb. After the frequency adverb, you have to include the main verb, right? The one that indicates the action. And after the main verb, you know, you can put the complement. Why do we use the complement? The complement is used to make the sentence more specific, okay? So let's remember, we use the, uh, the complement to make the sentence more specific. All right, let's, let's take a look at one example in here. Check this out. Mario, help me out reading this example, please. I always go to my house after work. Ah, okay, there you go. Good. I always go to my house after work. There you go. That is an action that happens every day, all the time, right? That when you finish work, you go directly to your house. That's what happens there, okay? Good. If you want, you can copy that. You can copy that, that example, okay? With the, with the structure. To move on. Pueden copiar esa parte ahí, la estructura y el ejemplo, y luego nos movemos a la siguiente slide, ¿ok? Ok. Let me know when you finish writing, ¿ok? Vamos a saber cuando hayan terminado de escribir, so we can move on.
Finish, teacher. Ah, ok, perfecto. Uy, por fin conocemos a Yelisa. Por fin puso una foto a Yelisa. <risa> All right. ¿Con la cámara fregada todavía, Yulisa? Yes, pero ya, ya, ya están reparando. Ah, ok. Ya vamos a ver si esa foto es reciente. Con una le... ayudadita, claro, está, ¿verdad? Siempre <risa> necesita una ayudadita. <risa> ok. Y cuando vuelva a encender la cámara, el cabello todo de rojo. Sí, es rojo. <risa> ah, yo creí que era color zanahoria o algo así. No sé, así se ve. Creo que quizás es la, no sé, la luz, pero es, es rojo, teacher. Ah, sí, es que se ve así como... Bueno, soy malo para los, para los colores, pero como anaranjado, no, no es anaranjado, no. algo así, algo así. Se sí, ve. Es, se ve como cobris, al, ah, pero mira. no. Ah, ok, All right. ya vamos a ver entonces. All right, good. So let's move to the next page right here. Now maybe you got another one. Look at this. You never do the chores. So that's another uh, example that we got in there. Look, you never do the chores. I mean, era chores? ¿Qué hemos dicho anteriormente que significaba la palabra chores? No. Uy. Nos reseteamos después de las vacaciones. Man. Nada, I mean, chores significa. Ah, uh, permítanme. Ya también ya me reseteé. No, in that case, chores son todas aquellas actividades que nosotros hacemos en casa. Básicamente es el aseo general, ¿ok? Es todas esas, esas tareas que tenemos en casa, como barrer, trapear, limpiar. Lo que hacer. Exactly. That's basically the chores. All right. That is basically the source. Good. Now, let's try to move on with this. Look at this. I got this chart for you. This chart is basically in the manual, okay? This one is taken from the manual. And it says, use frequency adverbs to say how frequently an action happens. That's, that's the short definition. Look, and we have it here. Here we have the frequency, how... All right, often this thing is used. And in here we have it in, in, in uh, you know, like in presentation. 100%, 90%, 80%, until 0%, okay? So in here, what you can say, it's like on the top, on top, you have always. So always means 100% of an activity, okay? So it's like when you say, I always eat the dinner, okay? That's an activity that you do every single day, all right? So we have an example in here. Let me see. Jesus, she can run another day. Okay, let me see. We have an example using always. All right, Leah, help me out reading the example using always, please. I always get a grab at five on the clock. Okay, I always get up at the five o'clock. That's an activity that this person does every single day. Okay, every single day. Good. In my example, I can say, I always take a shower before going to work. Okay, so that's my example. Good. What is an activity that you always do during the day? Not necessarily in the morning. It can be during the day. I'm going to start with uh, Carla. Can you mention one activity that you always do? Permítame un segundo. Okay, good. I always... 
Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh -huh. I always am. Ay, no sé qué decir. What is some of the things that you do? Feed, always feed my fishes in the in the morning. I always feed feed the fishes. Los peces. Ajá, los peces. The fish. En ese caso sería the fish. All right. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Good. Good. Abel. You say something, Abel. What is an activity that you always do, Abel? You always, or always. Aha, uh -huh, yes, I always go to the work. Okay, you always go to work. Good. That's another activity that you do almost every day. Good. Mario. Hello, teacher. I always uh, pray, pray of God at the end of the day. Oh, okay. Good, good. Perfect. Ruth? An activity that you always do, Ruth? I always take a an, nap. An, 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 <laughs> I always take? Take a nap. A nap? A nap. Ah, okay. Man, that's cool. <laughs> that's nice. It's like me or today. Before the... Se me olvida cómo se dice almuerzo. Ah. Uh, lunch? Lunch, yes. Before lunch, I mean, that's nice. When I when I came to the house today, I wanted to take a nap, but you know what? My baby got me up. He was punching me on the face. Wake up, wake up. And I, was like, ah, I couldn't, I couldn't. <laughs> okay, I mean, that's nice. That's nice. Let me see another one. Kelly? How about you, Kelly? What is an activity that you always do? Are you there, Kelly? Kelly. Hola. <laughs> Lo siento. <laughs> okay, good. Can you mention one activity that you always do? I always have breakfast at night. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, that's like a tradition. Good. Thank you, Kelly. Julissa? Okay. Mm. Quiero ver. Hay algo. ¿Cómo es? I always. always. Always, always, always mm -hmm. check my social network. Ah, okay, good. All right, there's another thing that you generally do all the time. Good, good. Let me see who's next in here. I mean, Jose is on the way home. Alexandra is on the way home. Eric, Eric, are you there? Hi, teacher. All right, Eric, give me one example that you always do. I, or, <clears throat> I always have breakfast at home. At home. Okay, good. That's something that you do all the time. Good. Thank you. All right. There you go. Marvin, you're going to be as a listener, right? Usted va a estar viviente, Marvin. Bueno, creo que sí, no contesto. Este, no, no sé si se va a escuchar bien, la verdad, porque está viviendo un poco fuerte por acá. Mm, aunque se le escucha, claro. Okay. 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 All right. All right, people. Let's continue with this. Look, that's like you know like always as a top as i said now what about usually let me see marvin i think i can listen to you can you read the example using usually 
I usually drink coffee in the morning. Oh, okay, okay. Ah, uh, you read an extra one. Okay, thank you, Marvin. All right, but the one in here it says, look, listen, he usually drives to work, okay? This is a 90%. Why a 90%? Because it represents the frequency in which this activity is done. What does it mean? It means that it's not 100% done all the time, every single day, right? Posiblemente hay ciertos días en que no lo hace. Simplemente es que usualmente lo hace, right? No todo el tiempo. Otra cosa que quiero que, que vean bien es esto. Acá tenemos una tercera persona. Tenemos he, ¿ok? Tenemos el, el, el adverbio, pero si ven acá, si ven el verbo drive, lleva la S, ¿ok? El verbo drive va modificado. ¿Qué quiere decir eso? Que en oraciones positivas, en tercera persona, siempre vamos a colocar el verbo, ya sea con S, ES, o IES. All right? Pay uh, that all right, into your account. Okay? Take, take it into account that you have to put the S, especially on third person, okay? On third person. So that's why we got drives. Good. Now, let's move on. The next one, it says normally. Listen up. Normally. Okay. Normally, generally, is an 80%. Okay. An 80%. And it says in this example, look at this. Uh, uh, let me see if I can help you out with this. Jesus Christ, I don't know who to choose. It says in Carla. Hey, me reading Carla. Uh, the normally example. Yes. She normally checks her email. Okay, thank you. Look at that. She normally checks her email. Right? So in that case, the word check, you put the S on that. Right? Checks. That's what you got there, right? But if you take a look in there, you have the subject, in that case, she, and then the frequency word. Then the main verb, and this is the complement. Look at that. That's the complement. Yeah, Eric. Teacher, este, me puedo quedar un ratito de oyente. Mm, okay. Okay, voy a apagar cámara. Ya voy a regresar. Okay. All right. Perfect. Okay, good. Now, let's continue. Let's continue with it. So in a 70%, in 70%, we have often, often, all right? What is often in this case? Can you guys tell me what does often mean? What does it mean often? Frequentemente. Okay, frequentemente, or basicamente, a menudo. Eh, es como a menudo. All right, okay. I mean, often. So in that case, it represents a 70%, okay, into the, uh, you know, like the frequency. All right. So, and we got that example using often. Uh, let me see if you can help me out with that. Uh, Patricia, can you please help me out reading, Patricia? A leer el ejemplo de Ofe. Yes, yes. Okay. I, of, I often have breakfast at work. Okay, very good. I often have breakfast at work. Posiblemente, de, si trabajamos de lunes a sábado, posiblemente tenemos unos cuatro días que hacemos esta actividad. All right? Por así decirlo. Okay, so in that case, we are indicating a 70% of this activity. All right, during a week. All right. Now, in a 50% or half of it, we have sometimes. Listen up. Sometimes. That's the other one. What is sometimes in this case? Algunas veces. Okay, very good. Algunas veces. Oh, a veces. Okay. This is, this is the proper word. Right? A veces. 
Okay. And what do we say about sometimes? Abel, help me already. The example. She sometimes uses the microwave. The microwave. Microwave. Repeat. Yeah, microwave. You know what is the microwave, Abel? ¿Sabe qué significa eso? Microondas. Exactly, right? Microwave es el microondas. Very good. Now, after the 50%, we have something in 30%, all right, of frequency. In that case, we have the word occasionally. Listen up. Occasionally. That is basically, all right, the word that we have in there, occasionally. And, let me see. And we got the example in there. Leah, help me read in the example. Uh, okay, okay, occasionally work overtime. Okay, there you go. Thank you. I occasionally work overtime. There you go. We got that one, right? In 30%. Good. Now, in 10%, in 10%, we have seldom. Right? Seldom. What is seldom, people? ¿Qué significa seldom? Claramente. Uh, repeat again, Ruth. I didn't listen. Raramente o rara vez. <laughs> okay, all right. Good. Yeah, I mean, seldom viene siendo como algunas veces, right? Algunas veces. There you go. Good. So, and we got the example in there. Look at that. We seldom take calls at work, right? We seldom take calls at work. So that means probably, what? Two days in one week? You might say that. That's, that's like the frequency that we got in there. All right. And in 5%, in the 5%, we have hardly ever or rarely. Hardly ever or rarely, básicamente significa lo mismo. Hardly ever, right? Or rarely basically means the same. And we got that's an next cool. example. Yeah, I mean, raras veces, right? So that's what it means. Raras veces. Okay, so we got this example. Uh, Kelly, help me read the, the example, please. Using hardly ever. Uh, I mean, in this case, it's Bradley. Are you there, miss? Hello. All right, apparently she's not there. All right, let's 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 repeat again. Uh Mario, help me reading. He rarely has conference. Okay, there you go. He rarely has conferences. There you go. Thank you. So we got that one in a five percent, right? And a zero percent we got never. All right. So that indicates a zero percent of something. And it's an example, I never get late to work. I never get late to work. ¿Quién puede decir esa, 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 esa oración así sin, sin temor a equivocarse? Yo. I am. Dale. Nunca he llegado tarde al trabajo. <laughs> never. In my motorcycle. Mm. Mm. En mi caso sería al revés. Ajá, ajá. Give, give me one second, give me one second. I like always. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nah, man, in that case. No, a veces, a veces conmigo, bueno, casi siempre viene siendo lo contrario. Right? Dentro de las siete, uh, me tardó 45 minutos, 50 minutos en carro para llegar a, al trabajo. En moto son como 30 minutos, right? Pero por lo general, en carro salgo de mi casa 6, 6.20. 6.20. 6.20. 6.20. 6.20. 6.20. 6.20. 6.20. 6.20. 6.20. 6.20. 6.20. 6.20. 6.20. 6.20. 6.20. 6.20. 6.20
para estar antes de las 7 en el trabajo. Y en moto salgo cuando se supone que debo salir más temprano o a la misma hora para ir más tranquilo. Es cuando suelo salir a qué? 7.35. Nada, man, entonces. Eh. El caso es que siempre llegamos a tiempo, pero volando. Volando. All right. Good. So, basically, that's the chart that we got about the most common frequency adverbs, ¿ok? Básicamente, esa es la tabla de los adverbios de frecuencia más comunes, los cuales nos sirven para identificar qué tan frecuentemente nosotros hacemos actividades durante una semana, durante un mes, un año, all right, or whatever you want to talk about, right? So that's the frequency how you do these type of activities. Now, let's try to move out with the extra examples, but before moving on in here, antes de movernos, ¿tenemos alguna pregunta con relación a esto? Any question, people? No question? No. No, okay. Good. Perfect. Everything is super clear, I guess. Let's move on. All right. We have some extra examples in here. Good. Take a look at this one. Uh, Ruth, help me read in this one. Sara always goes out on Saturday evening. Evenings, okay. Evenings. There you go. Thank you, thank you. Take a look at that. Sara always goes out on Saturday evenings. So, in ese caso igual, recordemos, eh, si estamos hablando de una tercera persona, igual, vamos a incluir el frequency adverb, pero el verbo siempre tiene que ir modificado. Let's remember that, okay? So that's why we got goes in there and no go, right? Sarah always goes out on Saturday evenings. Good. Now, let's move. Yeah. Ta, ta, ta. Who can help me out with this? Give me one second. Julissa, let me read in this. Jane's boyfriend usually picks usually picks her up from work. Okay, thank you, thank you. All right, Jane's boyfriend usually picks her up from work. Okay, recuerden, pick up es, el, es un verbo, okay? De hecho, se le conoce como phrasal verb, el verbo frasal. Y significa recoger, ya sea algo del suelo o recoger a alguien de un lugar. Okay, that's pick up. Okay, good. So in that case, we're talking about third person examples, okay? Now, let's move to the next example. All right, take a look at this. Marvin, help me reading. Ben and Emma often go for lunch together. Okay, there you go. Ben and Emma often go for lunch together. There you go. If you take a look in there, we have Uh, two people in that case, right? Entonces, ahí estamos hablando de dos personas. Por eso es que básicamente ahí ya el verbo no va modificado, right? Sino que pues ya va en forma, right? En forma base, por así decirlo, right? That's the way how the verb goes. Okay, good. Now, let's continue. Uh, check this out. Um, Patricia, help me already. I frequently play soccer. Okay, there you go. I frequently play soccer. Good. So that's an activity that you do in a very frequently way, right? So it means like almost every day you practice this activity. Good. Now. Let's move. Jesus, I don't know. I, I don't have anyone to choose from in here. Carla, help me reading, Carla. 
They usually send text messages. Okay, there you go. Good. They usually send text messages, right? Ah, ellos usualmente envían mensajes de texto. Very good. Now, let's move. Let's move to the next series of examples, okay? I know this one is pretty easy for you and pretty understandable. So let's try to move on with these things. Ahora bien, hemos estado hablando sobre, okay, oraciones positivas and everything. Recuerden, listen. Generalmente, cuando nosotros vamos a hablar sobre una acción o de una oración en negativo usando los frequency adverbs, pues básicamente solo se necesita un adverbio de frecuencia para tener una oración en negativo. Y no necesariamente se necesita un auxiliar más el verbo, más el, la palabra not, right? como comúnmente lo hacemos con las otras estructuras. En este caso, con una oración afirmativa, podemos hacerla negativa. ¿Cómo así? Que la estructura sea positiva sin agregar la palabra not. Simplemente poniendo la palabra never, ustedes están prácticamente dando una oración en negativo. Right? Recuerden que con la palabra never, ustedes pueden crear una oración en negativo. Y no necesariamente utilizando la palabra not. Recuerden que la palabra never es una palabra en negativo. Ok. Just keep that on mind. Now, so we have been discussing about those examples. Now, let's start with questions. Vamos a comenzar con las preguntas. Generalmente, no es cualquier estructura la que, la que usamos para crear preguntas utilizando los frequency adverbs o al menos para responder con una frecuencia. ¿Cuál es la estructura que utilizamos? It says, listen, questions are generally made using how often. Básicamente, esa es la estructura que nosotros usamos para crear preguntas, o al menos al principio. Right? How often. So in that case, it's like, ¿qué tan a menudo? Check this out. This is the structure. Abel, can you please read the structure? How often plus do does plus subject mm -hmm. more plus neighbors All right. plus complement. Next you All right. Plus the question mark, right? Good. Thank you, Abel. Now, basically, this is the okay. structure that we generally use to ask questions in first person in plural and a third person, right? Recuerden que para tercera persona usamos das. Ya cuando incluimos he, she, it, o un nombre en singular, right? Ya para primera persona, segunda, o plurales, generalmente ponemos do. Por eso está dividido con una pleca. Good. So we got some examples in here. Check these examples. All right, look at that. Ruth, help me out reading the question. How often do you eat in a restaurant? Okay, good. How often do you eat in a restaurant? Mario, read the answer. I sometimes eat in a restaurant. Okay, there you go. Dependiendo de la frecuencia en que nosotros Hacemos esa actividad, así es el frequency advert que vamos a utilizar en la respuesta. Right? Si siempre nosotros solemos comer fuera en un restaurante, pues entonces ahí diría, I always eat in a restaurant. Right? So that's depending on how frequently you do that activity that you're being asked. Good. Check out this other example question. Eric, let me read it. Hello, hello, teacher. Uh, the last example, question. Uh, 
How often do you eat in a restaurant? Uh, no, the next one, the next one. Uh, la última pregunta, la última pregunta, Eric. Question. Uh, how often does, after, no. How often does she visit her in the law? Her in laws. All right. Her in laws. Her in law. Okay. All right. Good. Very good. Thank you, Eric. All right. How often does she visit her in laws? All right. Good. I mean, in that case, the possible answer might vary, but in this case, I have. Uh, I have this one. Kelly, are you there? Can you please read the answer? Kelly? Teacher, what All do you right, mean in love? In laws mean the family from your girlfriend or your wife in this case. Those are your in laws. Okay, okay. Yeah, la familia de tu esposa, la familia de tu esposo, right? Esos son los in-laws. Like to put it that way. Okay, good. Let's continue. Um, man, I got very few people. Julissa, help me reading, Julissa. She frequent, frequently visits her in-laws. Okay, there you go. She frequently visits her in-laws, right? Ah, I mean, ella frecuentemente visita la familia de su esposo. Okay, good. Now, in that case, this is the way how we use frequency adverbs in questions using how often, okay? All right, good. Now, vamos a ver qué tanto, qué tanto entendimos con respecto a este tema. Generalmente, al aplicar preguntas, ¿podrían, por favor, formularme una pregunta sin respuesta? Vamos a practicar lo mismo que hemos practicado anteriormente. Le abren una pregunta en primera persona, right? Y acá mismo le vamos a dar respuesta. I'm going to give you one minute for you, for you to do that, ¿ok? Let me know when you finish. One question. And let me know when you finish. Yep. Okay, you finish. Perfect. We want to wait for the rest. Teacher, I finished. Okay, perfect, perfect. You wanna wait for the rest? Teacher, I don't know why, but and, uh, I listen to you. Le escucho bajito, no sé por qué. Yo igual. Give me one second, creo que se me desconfigura esta cosa. Yo no I guess, I guess. <laughs> Finish, I teacher. Finish, teacher. Oh. No, todavía me siguen escuchando lejos o bajito en este caso. Hoy no. Ahora ya no, ya se escucha cerca. No. <risa> Por aquí. <risa> <Okay. risa> 
<risa> ok. No, es que había desconectado el micrófono y no, 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 no me había percatado de eso. Estaba con el micrófono de la computadora, entonces cuando volví a conectar el, 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 el auricular, no sé, se desconfiguró. Con razón se oía ya bien lejitos. <risa> yeah, yeah. Ok. All right, good. So I guess you have already finished. Let me see, solo para tener en cuenta, I mean, eh, el Eric Merlos, creo que está de bien que nada más. He doesn't have the camera on. So, Alexandra, todavía de camino a casa. Creo que sí. And you, Wilbur? Alexandra said yes, teacher. No, okay, okay, cool. Bueno, sí. Jesus Christ, ¿dónde están todos? Anyways, let's continue. Let's continue. Uh, Ruth, I'm going to start with you, Ruth. Can you please read your question? And then Mario is going to answer that question. Okay, let's read it. Okay. Haber sabido que Mario iba a hacer la pregunta. Ah, no, man, you're going to ask teacher. him Mario answer. No, teacher, tiene que decir antes. Ah, mentira. Okay. ¿Cómo fue la cosa? Okay. Te escucha. Okay. Yes, Ruth. Okay. Who of them do you go to the movies? Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Man, talking about I movies. Occasion I occasionally goes to move to to the, the movies. movies. To the, to the movies. All right. Uh, like to the movies is otra forma de decir ir al cine, right? Good. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. No recuerdo cuando fue la última vez que fui al cine. Creo que antes de la Yo he ido solo una vez en mi vida. <laughs> <laughs> yo fui. Once in my life. I mean, yo fui a ver, antes de la pandemia creo que fue, fui a ver Star Wars y a, a dormirme al cine fui. <risa> yeah, for real, no sabía que estaba de estreno una de Star Wars en Everything y a dormir tres pesos. Y en mi casa pavos. sí me duermo viendo películas, pero en el cine no, piche. <risa> no, 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 no. No, y aquí igual eh, eh, he llegado a la etapa en que las películas se ven a mí, no yo las películas. No, por dos, 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 lo, lo diré triste, lo diré triste. No. I hardly ever play soccer. Ah, but I, at least you said hardly ever, and no never. All right, that's cool. Pero es nada. <laughs> yes. Pero no son como acá las que juegan en esta zona, right? Que van con la pelota y viene la otra y le da la patada a la persona y no a la pelota. No, no, con tanta violencia no. Ah, ah, ok. No, man, aquí sí. Tenemos que ir a jugar, Carlita. <risa> Teacher Carla, just push. Ah, just push his people. Como lo supo. Pata la pelota, pero no el jugador. Dice. Sí, patadas no, solo. Uy. Solo vaya por allá. Un solo en la nuca. Y ahí sí. queda. <laughs> ok. All right. Good, good, good. Now, Carla, read your question. And uh, uh, Lea is going to answer. Ok. How okay. often do you go to church? <clears throat> good. Lea. Yeah. Hello. How often? Do you do choose? How often do you vouch? Ah, ah, no, Lea. Responda la pregunta de Carla primero. Te la repito. 
Uh, yes, please. How often do you go to church? Um, I church, no recuerdo que, cómo se traduce. Ah, uh, iglesia. Uh, never. Me too. <laughs> I, ne I never I never I got, never I never go to I church. never go to church. Really? Never ever. Yo tampoco. <laughs> uh, soy <laughs> How do you say tampoco in English? Me I... either. Me either. either. Me either. Me either. Okay. <laughs> All right. Good. No, men, de Carla lo podías escuchar, pero no de Lea. ¿no? Me está perdiendo. Lea, Lea se ve así como bien calmada, bien de, de, de la ah, Yo me veo como un mal ejemplo, dice. No. Exactly, men, de Opus. No, no. Sí, men. Me veo, pero no soy. Ya, me estoy Miren, el Marvin, pues, hace unos cachos tiene. Es peor ah, todavía. sí, él sí, Ay. vaya, él sí se ve, yo no. No voy a decir, Marvin, voy a la iglesia todos los domingos y tengo una foto. No, right, Marvin. No. Ah, ok, no, no. No, no, no. Ok. ¿Qué demás está ahí? Ok, ok, cool. Now, Lea, read your question now, and Eric is going to answer. Okay. Uh, how often do you buy shoes? Buy shoes, okay. Buy shoes. How often do you uh, buy shoes? La respuesta es de las que están, de las que ya están aquí, o no? No, tiene que responder con un adverbio de frecuencia, all right, para indicar con qué frecuencia usted hace esa actividad que le han preguntado. I, I always take a shower. No, 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 no. Buy shoes. How often do you buy shoes? ¿Qué tan a menudo o qué tan frecuente usted compra zapatos? Esa era la pregunta. Um, one years. <laughs> ah, entonces, entonces podría decir usted, I hardly ever, o I rarely. He travels. I, I, I rarely. Yeah. Buy I shoes. rarely buy shoes. Wow. Right. Buy, comprar, bro. Yes. Buy yes. shoes. No, ok, como, good. Como me dijo antes, I barrel, ¿cómo? I rarely buy shoes. I rarely, mm. así. Rarely, ajá. Uh -huh. I rarely buy shoes. Ok, good, Thank good. You, ok, cool. Read the question that you have. And Abel will answer. ¿Podría leer la pregunta que tiene Eric? ¿O no la hizo? Ah, uh, no. Eh, vaya. <clears throat> How often do you? How often do you? No, pero es que no, 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 no me ubico. How often do you que es? ¿Qué tan a menudo? Y luego me enseñé un verbo que indique la acción. Ah, ok. How often do you no trabajas? <ríe> no, nah, I mean, that's negative. Tiene que ser positivo. <ríe> Vaya, pues. How often do you... How often do you vas a la playa? Go to the beach. You go to the beach. 
How often mm. do you go to the beach? Así es. All right. Okay. 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 I rarely. Okay. I rarely. Okay. I rarely. I rarely go to the beach. Okay, cool. I rarely go to the beach. There you go. Now, Abel, read the question that you have and uh, Marvin, it's going to answer. Okay. How often do you drive a car? I never drive a car. Okay, nice. Good. Now, Marvin, read your question and Julissa is going to answer. Okay, Julissa, how often do you keep your favorite food? Repeat. <laughs> no le escuché bien. How often do you cook your favorite food? Um, la verdad no le entendí. <laughs> Repeat it slowly, Martin. Please. Okay. How often do you cook your favorite food? Cook. Mm. Her favorite food. Uh -huh. yes, yes, yes. Teacher, no sé si soy yo, pero no escucho bien. Ok, ok. Le, le, le. Uh -huh. Do you to me? ¿Me lo podría escribir? <laughs> o no sé. Oh. He said, how often do you cook your favorite uh -huh. food? Ah, ok, 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 ok. I... I usually cook my favorite food. Okay, um, Perfect, there you go. Nice. Let me see who's next. Now, we don't have any other one to practice with. Uh, Julissa, read the question that you have, and we are going to end up with Ruth. Because Ruth solo preguntó, más no respondió, así que iba a responder. Okay. Sorry, Ruth. Ruth, how often do you go to the gym? ¿Por qué no me están ¿Por qué le da risa, teacher? ¿Ah? Porque ella se comenzó a reír nomás, dijo usted. Y luego, el segundo uno es el que tiene los cachos de diablo, ¿verdad? Hey. <risa> no, y me está dando risa porque se suponía que yo también tenía que comenzar esta semana y ya pasó el primer día y pues me he ido y no creo que vaya después de las vacaciones dijo yeah. pero no, no afirmó después de cuáles vacaciones dicho. exacto ¿En qué no, año? Después, de, después, después de finalizar el módulo va a ser ahora Ay. <risa> Yes, ya no vamos a ser testigos de eso. Yes, porque ¿Quién uno sabe? Se, uno se rinde y pues ya a esta hora debe estar dormido, dice. Nah. Así que nah. All right. Ruth, read the answer, okay. Ruth. I never go. I never go in the gym. To the gym. Pero es que yo hago ejercicio en la casa, no en, la, no en el gimnasio. Ah, ok. Good, good. That's nice, that's nice. Y si algún día va al gym, no lo agarre con todo, así como una vez lo hice yo y me dio calentura como por tres días. Así que, nah, no es bueno, no es bueno. Okay. Gracias por el consejo, teacher. Yes, yes, créame, sirve. Ahí de las experiencias uno aprende. <laughs> okay, good. Let's continue. Now, people, let's go to work in the manual, right? So, what we are going to do right now. Now, but before going out to the manual, I'm going to pass the second attendance list so we can continue from there and on. I see. Abel Edenilson. Present. Nice. Alexandra Michel. Present, teacher. I mean, yeah, she's there in the house. 
fútbol, man. Ya, yeah, miren, corriendo. Me tuve que mojar. Fresquecita. Todo por estar en su clase. Ah, Doña no le va a dar eso, por lo menos. Eso, cool. Fresquecita, ya recién bañada dice, durante el día. No, es la sí, segunda bañada. Pero ya de repente empezó a llover aquí. Bien feo. Really? Cierto porque se calmó y la sombra me cubrió un poquito y ahora ya estoy aquí. No, no, no es nice. Es nice. Sí, igual acá, pero acá llovió temprano, como a las 5. Así ya se quitó. Aquí la las nubes ven de que uno va a salir de trabajar, es mi momento, dice. Y empieza a llover. <risa> y se inunda todo. No, aquí no, aquí solo pasan viendo así como la señora del meme. Así como que aquí no puedo bañar. Voy a ir a bañar a la zona central, dice. Los que no se bañan. Somos bien graciados aquí. Y Eric queriendo agarrar agua ahí me dice, y se le va la, la lluvia. <risa> Nada más. So sad. So sad. Ok, good. Let me see where do we stay. Bania Raquel. <coughs> uh, no here. Cristian Mauricio. No here. Eduard Armando. Mm, okay, no here. So Eric Enrique. Present teacher. Good. Eric Fernando. Present. No, okay, you're there, man. Nice. Jose Mauricio. Present. Solo que Ay, no man. sé cómo quitarle el oyente. Ya se lo quitó. Ah, de verdad. Sí, ah, bueno, parece. en las conexiones, quizás. <risa> <risa> no sé. <risa> Gracias. <risa> Good, <man. risa> Ok. <risa> Interesante. All right. Good. Let's continue. Julissa Yamilet. Present teacher. Okay, good. Let's move. Carla Daniela. Present. Nice. Kelly Joanna. Ya se me fue Kelly. Bueno. Creo que solo es para la primera media hora y ahí desaparece. All right, Lea Berenice. Present. Okay, good. Liliana Alejandra. No, Liliana here, okay. Mario Eduardo. Present teacher. Nice. Marvin Edenilson. Present. Okay, good. Let's move. Noé Vladimir. Noé, are you there, man? No, okay. Apparently, he's not there. Rosa del Carmen. Okay, not there. Ruth Guadalupe. Okay, nice. Veronica Lisset. Me parece de la Verónica. Ok, let's move. Wilber Ernesto. All right, he's not there. And the last one, Ana Patricia. Hey, man, Ana, aquí también está. Ok, good. I got very few people here. That is not really nice. So, okay, people. So we're gonna go into the manual, specifically to the beginning of the unit number two. So in that case, it's on page 19, because the previous page was the one that we were practicing last week. I mean, before the last week. So we're gonna start with a short uh, conversation in which we include questions using how often and also frequency words included. 
right? And it says, listen to your teacher read the conversation, then practice with a partner. And it says, this is a conversation between John and Anne, all right? It says, John, listen, how often do you check your email? How often do you check your email? It says, and every two hours, every two hours, and you, and you, it says, John, well, I try to check it, well, I try to check it as often as I can, as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? And how often do you call your clients? It says, and I often call them once a week. I often call them once a week on Monday. On Monday. But I usually call them, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. On Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Do you call clients? It says, John, yes, I always call them. Yes. I always call them first thing in the morning. First thing in the morning. I believe, I believe it is important, it is important to have contact, to have contact with them all the time with them all the time, right? It says, and you are right. You are right. Good people, from this conversation, do you have any question with the vocabulary? Alguna preguntita con el vocabulario? Alguna palabra que no comprendamos del todo? Oh, everything is okay. Are we okay then? Okay, perfect. Estamos más que bien. Nice. Jesus. Es el panorama o oh, esa taza de Alexandra es gigante. What's up, Alexandra? Ah, I mean, that's nice. It looks nice, man. Sí, es una super taza. <laughs> no, no pero es engañoso, no agarra tanto. Ah, ah bueno, bueno. Okay, good. Now, what are we going to do, people? I want we to practice this short conversation, especially because in here we have questions and short ways of using frequency adverbs inside the conversation, okay? So we're going to practice this for a period of time. So just I, want, I just want to be sure how many people are active right now. Uh, Eric Merlos, are you okay there? Uh, are you working or what are you doing, man? ¿Estará como oyente? Eric Merlos. Dígame. Va a estar de oyente. Y ¿Va a poder participar en la conversación? Sí, puedo ahorita. Ok, perfecto. So, how many yeah. people are we right now? So, 12. Wilber, how about you? ¿Y usted, Wilber? Mm, 
creo que él sí, definitivamente no va a poder participar. Ok. So it's just one. So give me one second. Listen up. Les voy a dar tiempo para que ustedes puedan practicar esta pequeña conversación. Uh, supongamos que la vamos a practicar por 10 minutos, ¿ok? Luego, acá. Van a bajar y me van a contestar estas dos preguntas relacionadas a la conversación. La primera dice, How often does Anne check her email? Ah, me van a colocar acá. Ok. She, el adverbio de frecuencia. Y luego, checks her email, ok, you know what, why is it important to check the email every day, y acá me le van a colocar, ok, alright, that one, creo que más abajo, do we have something here, uh, I think this is personal, no, este es personal, este lo vamos a hacer luego, alright, so we're gonna do that in, the, in that case, good, So let's go to practice this short conversation in a couple of minutes. I will let you know when to come back again, okay? Just give me one second. I'm gonna make up the breakout rooms. One, two participants. Room. Give me one second. Okay, cool. Let's open up the breakout rooms and let's go to practice. That short conversation. Teacher, solo asegúrese de que pueda, pueda compartir la pantalla esta vez. Please. Okay, all right. <laughs> I will. Thank you. I will. I will. Hey, boy, how did you do it? Hmm. Uh, uh, uh -huh, let's open up the conversation and let's try to practice. Bye. Aquí está. Va, sí. Ahorita compartir. Este, compartir. Ahí está. Perfecto. Go, este, si querés inicia vos, Eric. De ahí yo soy Anne. Y de ahí cambiamos. Y de ahí va Eric, el otro Eric. Um, how often do you check your mail? Every two hours. And you? Well, I try to check it. You are right. Otra vez. How often do you check your email? Every two hours, and you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but 
I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you do you call clients? Client. Yes. Um, okay, client. client. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Yes, I always call them first. Then all the you're right. How often do you check your email? Every two hours in you. Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call. How often I can and how often do you care your client? I often uh, call them on a week, on once, Monday. Once a week. Once a week. Yes. Uh, on Monday, but I usually uh, call them on Friday to shed the other. Do you call clients? Yes, yes. I always call the first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with that. Then I'll... often do you check your email? Mm -hmm. Every two hours, two hours, and you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can, and how often do you call your client? clients? Clients. 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 How often call the one, how once, 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 they order do you call clay clients yes i always call the first 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 thing in the morning i believe it is important to have contact why them all with, the time with them with them with them all the time. You are right. Se quiere comenzar vos. Or. Okay. Mientras ella se duerme. Lo siento, no lo siento. Me salió el postezo. Ajá. Ajá. Ya nos vamos a dormir aquí. <laughs> But, uh, how often do you check your email? Every two hours and you? Uh, well, I try to check it, it as often as I can. And who often do you call your clients? I often call the the ones. ¿Cómo se es ahí? Pictures se me olvidó. All right, I often call them once a week on Monday. Is the often call? Call them once. Them? Once a week, uh, once a week on Monday, but I usually call them 
on Friday to check their order do you call clients? Good. Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I live, I believe it is important to have contact with them all, all the time. You are, you are right. ¿Cuánto no datos? <risa> Ahora comiencen con las preguntas. Ok. Yo estas ya las tengo contestadas. All right, perfect. Sí, es que yo recuerdo que usted nos dejó esto de tarea. Contestarle. No, ok. Yeah. Nice, nice. Okay. Pero no sé si está bien. <laughs> ok, ya vamos a ver. Okay. I'm see that, all right? No problem. Ok. Eh, la número uno es... Who often does... The check... They order do you call clients? Yes. I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. Mm -hmm. You are right. Thank you. Hello. <laughs> okay. No me, en cuáles me equivoqué. No, ya lo hiciste mejor. Ok, sí. I mean, that's nice, that's nice. Ahora sí, comencemos con las preguntas. No sé si vieron el mensaje. Sí, uh, sí lo vi. Yo sí lo vi. Eh, Good. Bueno, Eric. Ajá. La primera pregunta dice, How often does Anne check her email? Vamos a ver. ¿Cada cuánto tiempo envías ah. correo? No, check. Es como de revisar. Cada, cada cuánto tiempo revisa su correo. Her, este, ella va. Ajá. Ajá, estamos hablando de Anne. Y en la oración, aquí le pregunta. How often do you check your email? Y ella le responde. Every two hours. Entonces, ¿la respuesta cómo sería? Sería... Sí. Era. Dale, dale. Sí. Bueno, como no me lo puedo, como no me lo puedo hacer en inglés, uh -huh. este, decímelo en español y yo le voy a buscar la forma al, al inglés que está abajo. When do you change your email? Every two hours. And you? Well, I try to check it that often as I can. And how often do you call your client? I often call the once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call client? Yes, I always call their security in the morning. I believe it's very important to have contact with them on the time, all the time. Yeah, you are right. Finish, teacher. Okay. Did you do the uh, questions? Yes. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. There you go. Bueno, voy a revisar a alguien más entonces, okay? Then we're gonna go back. Give me one second. Hola, teacher. Hello, you finish? Yes, I guess. <laughs> you guess. Okay. Yeah. Perfect, perfect. Now, let's go back then. All right. I need okay. you to practice this. Thank you. Nice. Bye.
Okay, people, so we're going to practice what you were, you know, like practicing in the breakout rooms. Just give me one second. I'm going to try to put the manual. Okay, there you go. So we're going to start with that. And I'm going to start with uh, the first one on the list. You guys can have primera en lista, okay? Oh, Carla. Here's the first one on the list. All right. All right, Carla. Let's start practicing. Okay. With who were, who were you practicing with? Uh, with, with Marvin. Marvin. Yeah, I mean, with Marvin. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Marvin, empieza en si Okay. How often do you check your email? Every two hours. And you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can and how often you call your clients. I often call them once a week on Monday, but usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always fly, call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Okay, perfect. There you go. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Marvin. Now, let's move. Mauricio. I think you were practicing with Lea, right? Yes. Okay. Let's go. Uh, no sé quién comienza Lea. Okay. How often do you check your email? Every two hours and you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your claim? I often call them <clears throat> on the ons a, a week on Monday. But I usually a, tell them on the front, uh, on the uh, Friday, Friday, Friday to share, Friday to share uh, their order. Do you call clients? Clients? Yes, I always call them first in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them at the time. Yes, are uh, are right. You are right. I, you are oh, right, right, perdón. Okay, very good. Thank you, Mauricio <laughs> and Lea. Uh -huh. Estaba leyendo otra cosa. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. All perdón. Right. All right, no problem. Good. Alexandra. Let's go, Alexandra and company. Hola, con, con Ruth. All right, let's go. Eh, ¿Comenzas tú, Ruth, o yo? Yo lo voy a comenzar. ¿Ah? Yo voy a empezar. Ah, ok. Ok. ¿Cómo often do you check your email? Every two hours and you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And who often do you call your clients? I often call the, them once I am weak on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their, their order. Do you call client, clients? Right. Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I leave, I believe, believe it is important to have contact with them with them all, all the time. You are right. Okay, good. You are right. Perfect. Thank you. 
for your participation, ladies. And now, Mario. Let's go, Mario. And Eric, right? Yes, teacher. Okay, let's go. Eric, you begin. Can I guess? You, man, you. How often do you check your mail? Every two hours. And you? Uh, well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday. But I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, always call the first thing in the morning. I believe it's important to have contact. We can all the time. You are right. Okay, very good. You are right. Very nice. Good. Now, let's move. Thank you, people. Thank you. Now, let me see who's going to be next. Abel. Okay, teacher. My partner is Julissa. Okay, let's go. Okay. How often do you check your email? Every two hours, and you? Well, I try to check it out often as I can. And how often do you call your client? I often call the once a week on Monday, but usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it's important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Okay, perfect. Very good. Thank you, people. Okay, so I think you were the last pair because let me see. Yeah, see, yeah, todos participamos. No, I mean, es raro ver bien pocos. Okay, good. Now, let's go down, people. And in here, we had two questions. Acá teníamos dos preguntas, right? Good. The first one says, how often does Anne check her email? Alguien me podría decir que tan a menudo ya revisa su correo? Every two hours. Okay, very good. Every two hours. Okay, good. And the next question, why is it important to check the email every day? It is important to have contact with the client. Okay, because it is important to have contact with, with whom? With the clients, right? That's what they talk about. Mm -hmm. All right, very good, because it's really important to have contact with them. There you go. So that was like the questions that you were about to, you know, like practice up. Good. Si nos movemos un poco más abajo, eh, esta es la, el, el, el recuadro que les había puesto en la presentación, okay? This is like the chart that we have about the frequency words. Now, in here, we have a short uh, chart that we're going to cover with some information. Acá dice, complete a list of your activities you do in a regular week. Then I write the activities next to the word that best describe how often you do those activities. Básicamente aquí era categorizar una actividad en la que ustedes me tenían que hacer una lista de actividades que ustedes hacen y acá pues me las iban a clasificar de acuerdo a la frecuencia que ustedes la hacen. Vamos a evitarnos un poco ese trabajo y lo vamos a hacer de una vez. ¿Cómo así? Va, ah, miren. Tenemos acá, hay. Acá tenemos always, often, sometimes, hardly ever y never. Acá ustedes me van a colocar una oración al lado que mejor describa la frecuencia con que ustedes la hacen. Por ejemplo, acá yo puedo poner. Give me one second, I want to help you out with that. I always. Take this out. I always. Mm, Take a shower 
in the morning. All right. I never um what I never miss a day at work. For example, right? For example. So in ese caso, ustedes no necesariamente pueden hablar de su trabajo, pueden hacer otras actividades, ¿ok? Pero la idea es que me llenen este recuadro con la información de la frecuencia con que ustedes hacen una actividad. Ok, let's go people. I will give you a couple of minutes. Esta sí va a ser individual, así que let's go. Me lo sé saber cuando terminemos, ok. Y si necesitan alguna, uh, algún tipo de ayuda, solo uh, uh, notifiquenme, por favor. And I will help you out. Ajá, Eric. Sometimes es... A veces. Eh, a veces. Yes. Y, y en la siguiente, hardly ever. Hardly ever viene siendo como raras veces. Raras veces. Pero no lo habíamos dicho diferente. Eh, primero, eh, frequently. No. Frequently, frequently es frecuentemente. Ah, y el otro es que often. Often es a menudo. A, a menudo. Uh -huh. A menudo. Rara vez. Va. Chivo. Go. Just remember, if you have any questions, just let me know, okay? Teacher, how do you say serious? Serious is the same. Describe sí. lo mismo. Serious. Oh, thank you. Teacher, how? Teacher, yes. yes. Have a question. Okay. ¿Cómo se escribe suegra en inglés? <laughs> okay. Ahorita se lo escribe. Okay. Thank you. Mother in law. Like that. Okay. Thank you. Okay.
All right, let me know when you finish, people. Eric, ¿cómo va? ¿Por cuál va? Por la, la, me faltan las dos últimas. Ok, perfecto. Finish teacher. Okay, perfect, Mario. Finish teacher. Okay, very good. I'm finished. Okay, very good. All right, so we're gonna continue with those who have already finished, and then we're gonna wait for the other ones, right? So Mario, I'm gonna start with you because you said the first one is finished. Mario, okay, read, read the, the samples that you have. Okay, I always drink a cup of coffee in the morning. Okay, good. I often watch series on Netflix at night. Good. I sometimes play video games at night. Very good. I hardly ever buy fast food. Okay, very good. And the last one, I never fall down on bridge. <laughs> okay. But I want, I want <laughs> to do it. <laughs> okay, interesting. Interesting. Okay, good, Maria. Good. All right. Who's next? ¿Quién más me dijo que había terminado? Turn on the microphone and read the examples. Okay, Carla. I always feed the fish in the morning. My boyfriend often picks me up from work. Good. I sometimes drink chocolate in the breakfast. Nice. I hardly ever get late to work. Uh -huh, okay. And I never eat papaya. It's the only one fruit that I hate. Really? Yeah. That is delicious, man. Papaya is rica. Mm, bueno, lo que pasó, no sé cómo se dice en inglés, pero lo explico. Me empaché cuando era chiquita y luego ya no la puedo comer. Ah. Yo ah, okay. Se pasó de comer. <laughs> Okay, okay. Yeah, it happens sometimes. Suele pasar a veces. Yeah, man. Okay. Nice, nice. That's, 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 that was the last one, right? Yes. Good, good. Thank you, Carla. Okay, who's next? ¿Quién es el siguiente? Encienda su micrófono y lea las oraciones que tiene. All right, Ruth. Go. Teacher. Yes, Abel. How do you say la feria? La feria, amusement park. Ahorita se la noto. Ok, Ruth, let's go. I always get up early. I often read a book. Ok. I sometimes do a sport. I rarely... Go to the beach. Mm -hmm. I never 
Where have a mess in my room? I never have. I never have a mess a mess in my room. A mess a mess. No sé cómo se dice. Ah, okay. All right, a mess. A mess. Okay, good. You never have a mess. And I'm the opposite. I always have a mess in my room. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. I say, I mean, I'm gonna clean it the next day, and I don't do it, man. I'm lazy sometimes. I spend the whole week. Si uno, si uno ordena, pierde la magia. Exactly. No se vuelve a dormir igual uno. No hay exactly, apuesta. exactly. And if you wake up at 3 a.m. in the morning and you see a, a bunch of clothes in the corner, I mean, it's, it's not the same thing. I mean, it looks like a phantom and, you know, like, and you're like kind of scared. Pero ahí lo tiene, man. Ahí tiene pante de ropa. Yeah, man. That's I the mean. magic. <laughs> That's nice. That's nice. Yeah, I mean, it's true. Nah, pues, miren, miren, miren qué genial. Alexandra suele ver a otro lado y bostezar. <risa> Despistando. Es dice, por de ella. la teacher, no me avergüence. Según, no según ella, mi Lo siento, pero yo no. <risa> Soy más sueño que persona a esta hora. So sorry. Yeah, man. Everybody's like that, man. Everybody. Okay, cool. Who's next? Thank you, Ruth, by the way. Good. Who's next, people? ¿Quién terminó ya? Siendo su micrófono y lea las oraciones, please. Eh, yo me corrige. Oh. All right, Abel. Let's go. Ah, no, no, no. Take care, Abel. All right, Eric. Go. <laughs> I always, I always take a shower in the morning. Okay, good. I often travel the motorcycle for my work. Are you sure? Uh, Siempre conduzco mi bicicleta al trabajo, ¿eso es lo que quiere decir? No, a veces motocicleta. A veces, como eh, often es... Eh, a menudo. A, a veces menudo. es... Ah, time. Ajá, a menudo, cabal. Sí. No, okay. But, la otra es... Sometimes... Uh, I, 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 I sometimes... Ah, pues lo tengo que corregir. <ríe> Pero, vaya, entonces sería... No, pero es que es, 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 es como negativa, entonces... Pero es que la Entonces, negativa, la negativa tendría que ser la que va a usar con never. Uh, uh. Entonces la voy a corregir. Ok. Va, entonces la, la siguiente es. I, I, had, I had hardly ever uh -huh. come home here. Come early. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. And y the la last otra one? Es, y la última es la más proba. Mm -hmm. I, I am never late for work. <laughs> I am never. Never. I, I am never late for work. Después de never L -A ah, 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 late. late. <laughs> okay, I am never late for work. Ah, okay. Good. Solo tengo que corregir la de sometimes. Okay, good. Fix that one, okay? Corrija sure. entonces. Perfect, perfect. Good. Who's next? ¿Quién es el próximo? O la próxima. Yo. Yeah. Okay. Ah, ¿quién dijo yo? Ah, eh, yo. yo. Bueno, los dos. Yo no los dos, pero que... ya, ya, no sé. Le voy ah. a ceder el, el cupo a. No sé cuál de todos estamos. Abel. Ay, ay, no, no pase otro. No ay, ay, Dios. Abel dice que le va a ceder el cupo y Yulisa dice: Ah, no, se lo cedemos a Abel. Ok, Abel. Let's go. Vale. 
I always visit my family on Sunday. Okay. I often play soccer on Saturday. And some I something use the computer. Okay, sometimes. I hardly ever read a book. Okay. I never go to the amusement park. Mm, okay, good, good. Thank you, Abel. Now, Julissa. Oi. I always visit my mother-in-law on weekends. Okay, good. I often have meetings at home with my friends. Nice. I sometimes play video games at night. I hardly ever. Así es verdad. Yeah, I hardly ever. I hardly ever go to the gym. Mm -hmm. And I never drink coffee. You never drink coffee? No. Ya ve, con razón no le no les funciona la cámara. Por eso es. Y por eso siempre tenemos que... ¿Dónde? Yeah. Y por yeah. eso la sacamos. Ah, no, perdón. No, me ah, dijiste. Ok. ¿Dónde está el botón de expulsar acá? Ok. <laughs> ok. All right. Thank you, Yulisa. Thank you. All right. Who's, ne uh, who's next? Uh, yo. <laughs> ok. Primero Alexandra, que fue la que dijo yo primero y luego ah, sí. José. Okay. Lo siento, Mauricio. Dale, tranqui. I always get up at 4, um, 4.05 a.m. Okay. I often have breakfast at work. Good. I sometimes walk to work. I am practice. Mm, I am practice. Se escribe practically. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Uh, I am practically. Practically. Never practically. late for work. Y I never ate strawberry easy cream. Mm, okay. All right. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Now, Jose. Okay. Eh, sería, I always listen to music before bed. Okay. I often use it WhatsApp. Okay. I sometimes visit my parents. Good. Como hoy. <laughs> <laughs> I hearly hardly ever, no sé cómo se pronuncia. I hardly ever. Hardly ever get up early. Get up early, all right. I never play a video game. Ah, okay. You never play video game. Okay, yes. very good. Thank you, Jose. Now, Lea, did you read your examples before you leave? Yes. Uh, I am always have a cup of coffee every morning. Good. I often check make one a day. Uh -huh. I know sometimes rest after lunch. I hardly ever eat at my desk. I am never late for my meeting. Ah, okay. All right. Very good. Okay, all right, understood. No problem, Leah. Thank you. Okay, who's next? Somebody's missing. Creo que alguien me falta. Hmm. Marvin, are you there, Marvin? Yeah, me, Marvin. Is okay, yeah, Marvin. I'm here. Read your examples, mister. You're missing. Okay. Um. I always walk to the bus stop or stop buses. Uh, I often 
drink water in the morning. I sometimes prepare my breakfast. I never drink beer. <laughs> That's it. La última como que no le creo mucho, pero bueno. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, con pequeñas Suspechos. excepciones. Suspicious, right? Solo para yeah. Navidad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's like, it's como decir que, que alguien por ahí no tiene sueño. Yeah, I mean, it's like suspicious, right? Suspicious. But anyway. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Okay, cool. Creo que ya todos participamos. Let me see. Yeah, I mean, huh, the very few people that are missing. No? Okay, people, now, listen. Because of time, por motivos de, de tiempo, oh, no vamos a completar esta parte, pero que la vamos a hacer hasta mañana, en la cual acá vamos a crear un, unas preguntas en, y vamos a trabajar eh, posiblemente en grupos de tres mañana, uh, just to complete the sequence, en las cuales acá ustedes me van a crear una pregunta. Acá, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six. Estas preguntas igual. Generalmente son directamente a una primera persona. Acá tienen el inicio del prompt. How often do you have meetings? Take a shower. Uh, go to work. Mm, go to the supermarket or whatever. In here, y acá, lo que vamos a hacer es simplemente colocar la respuesta de estos compañeros, que serían tres. ¿Ok? So, en este caso acá, sería la práctica que vamos a hacer mañana al principio de la clase. All right. With three classmates, we're going to answer this one dependiendo de la frecuencia en que nosotros hagamos esta actividad. Así va a ser el, el verbio que vamos a utilizar. All right. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much, that's pretty much what we are missing for tomorrow. Y eso prácticamente sería como parte de lo que vamos a ver mañana y pues introducir el nuevo tema. All right. So, let's remember. It's really necessary for you to remember all these frequency words, okay? Eh, sería bastante útil si tratamos de practicarlos un poco y tratar de, 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 digamos, tal vez no memorizarlos todos de una sola vez si no los, si no los uh, conocemos todos, pero sí sería bueno de poderlos practicar, okay? Porque sí son bastante necesarios al momento de hablar. Generalmente para identificar con qué frecuencia nosotros hacemos ciertas actividades, all right? So they are really, really, really necessary. All right, people. Before we go, do you have any questions? ¿Alguna pregunta antes de irnos? No? Bueno, hasta Ruth ya está perdiendo la batalla. Dice. Okay. Now I'm going to pass the attendance list and I'm going to let you rest, people, because you're, you're dying. <laughs> okay. Let's start over. Abel Edenilson. Present, teacher. Good. Alexandra Michel. Present, teacher. Ok, Alexandra, ahora sí se puede ir a dormir tranquilamente. <laughs> Bye. Vania Raquel. All right, she's not here. Cristian Mauricio. She's not here. Eduard Armando. Ok, no here. Eric Enrique. Present. Present. Eric, con usted ya me había quedado en la retroalimentación, ¿cierto? Creo que sí. <laughs> sí, sí, yo me había quedado con usted. All right. Eric Fernando. Present. Con usted también, ¿verdad, Eric? Sí, conmigo terminó el último. Ah, con usted fue el viernes, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok, perfect. Good. Now, let's move. Uh, José Mauricio. Present. All right, Mauricio, con usted sí no he pasado, ¿verdad? Los 10 minutos no. de feedback, ok. Ahora los tendríamos, ¿ok? Ah, ok. Right. So, let's stay with me after the class. Julissa Jamilet. Y podría mañana, perdón, teacher. Podría mañana, es que soy en la casa de mis papás. No soy en mi casa. <laughs> All right. Julissa, are you there? Present, teacher. All right, Julissa. ¿Podría usted ahora, Yulisa? 
Yes, teacher. Ok, cool. Entonces yeah. mañana le tocaba a Yulisa, le va a tocar a usted, José, ok? Ok, thank you. Perfect, perfect. Uh, Carla Daniela. Present. All right, nice. Kelly Joana. Se fue. Lea Berenice. All right, she's gone also. Liliana Alejandra. She was not here. Mario Eduardo. Present teacher. Okay, good. Marvin Edenilson. Present. No, okay, good. Noé Vladimir. All right, he was not here. Rosa del Carmen. He was not here. Ruth Guadalupe. Present teacher. Okay, good. Veronica Lisset. All right, she's not here. Wilber Ernesto. I am in Wilber is there, but you don't see that much. And the last one, Ana Patricia. Okay, good. So people, thank you for getting connected today to this video conference. Let's see you tomorrow in another one, okay? Thank you for getting connected. So bye-bye, people. See you tomorrow. See you. All right. Bye, take care. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye, thank you. Take care, people. Bye-bye. Okay, nice. All right, Julissa. Estos 10 minutos, como bien lo sabe, prácticamente son para aclarar cualquier duda que usted pueda tener con relación a este tema que se vio este día y los temas anteriores. Así que no sé si tenemos alguna pregunta con relación a cualquiera de los temas. Mm, creería que el de hoy no. Ajá. Los anteriores... Ay... Ni me acuerdo, teacher, cuáles fueron. <risa> Quiero ver. Sí, creo que sí. Es que hay uno que me cuesta un poco. Ah, ¿cuál de todos? Mm. Será. Eso es lo que estoy viendo en mis capturas, permítame. <risa> sí, porque la clase 5 solo fue un repaso del presente simple. El día la que clase... no estuve, ¿verdad? Ajá, sí, esa fue una repaso general. La clase 4 fue el presente simple en oraciones negativas. La clase 3 fue cómo usar how many, how much. La videoconferencia 2 del martes fue las time expressions, expresiones de tiempo. Y el primero fue el simple present eh, positive statement. Ah, pues no, creo que fueron las time expressions. Ah, ok. Bueno, ¿qué sucede con las time expressions? A ver. Mm. Son las expresiones para verlo, el, para decir en qué tiempo formular relaciones con el tiempo. No. Bueno, generalmente las time expressions nos indican con qué regularidad nosotros podemos hacer una actividad. Tienen siendo un poquito similares a las, a, la, a las palabras que estamos eh, practicando ahora, que son los adverbios de frecuencia. Vaya. Entre las time expressions más comunes utilizadas en el presente simple tenemos every day o podemos Ajá. decir daily. Ah, eso. Ahí. Every ya. Ah, pues sí. Ese, eso, teacher, eh, eh, decir daily significa lo mismo que every day. Sí, básicamente estas son, son lo mismo. All right, son okay. lo mismo. Every day es lo mismo que decir daily. Every week, weekly. Every month, monthly. Right? Every year, yearly. Right? Eh, every day o daily, diario. Right? De manera diaria. All right? Every week o weekly, semanalmente. Semanal. Every ah, okay. month. Acá lo podemos interpretar como cada mes o acá mensual, all right? Pero mm. viene siendo lo mismo. Every year, cada año o anualmente, all right? Journey. Good. Otras que por lo, por lo general solemos usar es uh, once a week, twice a week, 
una vez a la semana, dos veces a la semana, generalmente acá dependiendo de la situación y el tiempo, porque podemos poner también month, o también podemos decir year, una vez a la semana, una vez al mes, una vez al año. Fíjense que yo creo que lo que, lo, lo que tenía como me cuesta es como generar o formular las oraciones, pero en tercera persona. Ah. Ya vamos a ver esto. Ok. El, el twice a week es... Ah, significa dos veces. Dos, ah, dos, dos veces. veces. Ajá, es una forma de evitar decir two times. Ok. Vaya, pero eh, eh, con relación a tercera persona casi viene siendo lo mismo, fíjese. Vaya, por ejemplo, si usted dice I take a shower every day es lo mismo como que yo dijese Julisa y aquí sería tercera persona sí. takes el verbo ya con s porque es tercera persona uh -huh. shower every day uh -huh. o Julisa Takes a shower daily. ¿Sí? Lo podemos hacer de esta manera también. Y ambas oraciones significan lo mismo. Right? Solo que acá está con everyday y acá la ponemos con daily. Right? Por ejemplo, mencioneme una actividad que usted hace una vez a la semana. Uh, visito a mi suegra. <laughs> ok, she visits her. Mother in law. Ella visita a su suegra. One a week. Look, una vez a la semana. You see? Y ahí tenemos ese ejemplo ya en tercera persona. Digamos que en tercera persona lo único que tenemos que ser un tanto cuidadosos es con el verbo. Porque el verbo va modificado. Recordemos que después de un she, después de he, it o un nombre propio. Por lo general, si es positivo, el verbo tiene que ir con S. Y si es negativo, el, ve el verbo va normal, ¿verdad? Exacto. El verbo okay. va normal y se coloca doesn't. Por ejemplo, uh -huh. she doesn't visit her mother in love. Her es su. Sí, su de ella. Ajá. Ok. Vale. Y así le quedaría la oración. Look. She doesn't visit her mother-in-law once a week. Ah, ella no visita a su suegra una vez a la semana. Ok. okay. Right. Sí, por lo general la time, express, time expression o expresión de tiempo, por lo general siempre va al final de la oración. Siempre, okay. siempre, siempre al final de la oración. Uh -huh. Ok. Yo a creo ver. que... Ah, esa era como lo... Ya de ahí no, creo que no tengo otra duda, teacher. Nada, ah, miren, lo bueno entonces es que todo va quedando claro. Sí, ah, ese otra duda que tenía era con el, lo que vimos ahora de hardly ever y never. Uh -huh. Vaya, hardly ever es lo Porque mismo. Porque son casi lo mismo, ¿verdad? Digamos que sí, va, pero hay una pequeña diferencia. Hardly ever es lo mismo, pero con rarely. Ah, okay. que básicamente significa raras veces, o sea, casi nunca. Y ya si decimos never es cuando nunca hacemos una actividad. Ese hardly ever lo podemos utilizar para decir, por ejemplo, que usted hace una actividad una vez al mes, o sea, que casi nunca lo hace, o una vez al año. Entonces ahí lo podemos usar. Por ejemplo, usted dice, I hardly ever drink alcohol. Right? Significa que ah, casi nunca consumo alcohol. Right? Es una actividad que usted casi nunca hace. Entonces, hardly ever, eh, digamos que dentro de la frecuencia del 1, a I mí, mean, del 0% al 100%, se le da un 5%. Ok, sí, es que ese no lo había escuchado. Ajá. Había escuchado el Riley, pero el hardly ever era como que nuevo. Ajá, ajá. 
No, pero básicamente, básicamente son lo mismo. Hardly ever y rarely. Básicamente es como raras veces. O, okay, casi, o casi nunca prácticamente. Esa sería como la traducción. Ok. Yes. Ah, pues sí. Creo que estamos ver. claros. Perfecto. Con lo de la plataforma vamos todo, todo bien, ¿verdad? Sí. Ah, okay. hasta ya hice el examen. <risa> ¿En serio? Ah, mi no está. Yeah. Excelente, excelente. Right. Y voy avanzando, es que si no después me quedo con todo acumulado y a veces me ponen Exacto. a hacer trabajo extra, entonces ya, ya no hay Ah, ya queda poco tiempo, ¿cierto? Sí, sí, Por sí. eso, Ticho. Ah, está bien, está bien, perfecto, Yulisa. Muy bien. Bueno, entonces, no sé si tiene alguna otra pregunta adicional, Yulisa. Uh... No, ah, bueno, sí, de la plataforma solamente una consulta. Bueno, yo no sé si uh -huh. será que a todos les aparece así, pero, bueno, yo había escuchado que nos iban a dar como un certificado o algo. No sé si es o uh, no es cierto. Sí, por la finalización de módulo. Ah, ok. Pero el mío, no sé por qué dice, bueno, no sé si a todos les aparece así, pero el mío aparece ruta de asistente. A todos es igual. ¿Cómo así? ¿Ruta de asistente? Sí, es que dice, dice eh, su inscripción y la parte dice ruta de asistente. Y de ahí dice, usted está inscrito en el curso como asistente. Y este ah, modo y de tomar no tiene... el curso no incluye la obtención de un certificado. Sí, 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 a todos les aparece esa, esa opción así. No se preocupe. Ah, ok, ok. Yo me había asustado. <risa> No, no se preocupe, a todos les aparece ese tipo de, de comentario ahí. Uh -huh. Ok, ah, pues grande. solamente eso era, Ticha. Ah, sí. sí, pero ahí hay el caso mismo. Ah, okay. ok. Right. Ah, pues solamente eso era, porque ya de ahí, pues, vamos todo bien por el momento. Right. Perfecto, entonces, perfecto. Muy bien, entonces no hay nada más que agregar. Te dejo descansar, Julissa, y nos vemos mañana, ¿ok? Ok, Ticha. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night.